Hey you two, what's up? This is Mr. Coffee Drinker. Hey, today's video, I'm basically going to go back to basics. Ever since I did that uh, hard side over there, my game's been off. I got used to that super bouncy and um, I tend to seven out a lot. And it's not only me, it's, uh, it's been also Eric and uh, I guess a couple of people. So we're going to go back to the basics. And um, we're going to see where I go off the axis. You know, I'm going with a blue red dice. I'm going to keep the blue on the left, red on the right. I will be marking it down. So the size for blue, the size for red. I want to see what numbers come out in each one so I can go back and review. So there's no betting strategy here. There's nothing. It's just uh, going back to the basics. See what we get out of this. And um, I don't really want to see. I can't even get an SOR of maybe, what, six, seven, baby, if that, maybe, with, since it's been a hard table. So let's see what I'm doing wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying too many different sets, too many different ways, and I need to stick with one to try to master that first before I try anything else. So let's start off. Here we go. The audio should be good. No one's here except my oldest daughter, so we'll see what happens. And the dogs. Here we go. Doing the traditional three finger grip. Vice facing towards me when I grab them. So here we go. I'm just going to go up. Kind of like a push when I release. All right. And we're going to start off with a four. So what we got a blue one right and a red three let's mark that down real quick get that out of the way that's a four i hope you guys can see that you guys should be able to see that now if i put it here i think you could either way i'll call them out as i i get them so we go back to the blue on the left Red on the right, okay? 45-45 is a set. It's a hard way set. So I did see already the blue is off axis. Let's try one more time. So we're going to go up. And the blue is off axis again. With a 1. So this is 1-2. So 1-2. It's a good way to... When you guys practice at home, I think I think this is a good way to see what you've been rolling, how you rolling, and see which what kind of adjustment. Because you can always go back and you can say, if I adjusted this blue dice to this certain way, what would have been my outcome? Because you can switch it around, you know what I mean? So, and what I mean by that is, for example, for every one, you can say, okay, one row, so you look at where your one was on the blue dice and you switch it and you put like a five there. You can say, okay, every one now is going to be probably a five. And then you can see what the outcome of that was, would be. In theory, it should help you in that way. That's how I use it. So I don't know how long the video is going to be. I'm just going to do it till you know what. That, that notorious number you know what comes out i'm not even gonna say it let's go what we got there i think that's a hard eight that hard eight yes it is so that's four four right down four four a lot of people be like well you know you take forever when you do that i said well practicing is not about rushing if you think about it, this will go right here to the center, and right now they'll be paying off people, so you have to wait no matter what. So that's a good way to pace yourself too, because now you'll be like, you're used to throwing it home quick, one after another, but at the casino, they'll slow you down. So this is a good way to uh, pace yourself on here. So again, that was the, we got hard eights on that. So here we go. What do you got? 
We got a nine, I believe we got out of that. That's three, six, so three on the blue, six on the red. Keep it written down. I go back, I'll sit down, I'll look at the outcome. So back to basics is what I'm gonna call this video. Cause eventually we are going back to basics, throwing the same way with a hard way set to see what the outcome was. And the red right there, if you notice, that was off axis. Cause it was a six. Anything that you, whenever you see a one or six, the way you set these dice up with the four or five like that, six ones on the side, you know, or either facing each other, that's off axis. Which you guys already know that. That's for like the super beginners, just in case they're watching this. So, ooh, that hit the back wall. That hit the back wall. So what we got, one, four. Blue one, red four. Notice how we got the blues so far, three ones. I don't know if you can see that or not. So far the blue is giving us three ones. So that's five. Did we get a four yet? No, we haven't got a four yet. So back to the beginning, four, five, four, three. Yeah, I mentioned that bouncy table. That bouncy table screwed my casino game up, so that's why I got rid of it. It was actually fun playing it. But now it's like starting all over again, you know? All that time I invested in that bouncy table just went down the drain because in reality, I don't think there's a casino that has that super bounce on their table. And what I should have done is I should have went with the hard way there and regular bouncy, like I got regular bouncy on this side. So, there you go, back to the grip. And we got a 10. We got a blue 4, red 6. These are pretty cool because what I do is when I, after I write these down, I go back and I say, okay, what about if I had this set? Let's see how the dice would have worked. And I can see where my 1 and 6 was, you know what I mean? And my 4 and 5. And you can see what the outcome of another set kind of is. A little time consuming. You don't have to sit here and roll them. You can just go and redo them on paper. Then we got Snake Eyes. One and one. One and one. They both went off axis there. See that? But we still got that blue hitting that one a lot. Four five, four five, and I'm trying to throw in the same spot. You know, that's another thing I learned that depending how far, how close, which side, it can roll different. Doesn't matter how you grip them, how you set them. But sometimes when you keep hitting that same spot, though, you get the same numbers, like you know, back to back. But everything's got to be like the same, perfect. What we got out of there? We got heart six. Three and three. Three and three. I don't even have to tell you which color. They're both three, so. I got to master this hard table. I'm not going back to the casino until I master it. Any four yet? No four yet, so no point. Four five four five. Would play a little music while I roll, but I don't want I don't want YouTube hit me with some copyright infringement or something like that. You know what I mean? So how we got? We got nine. The blue dice is a four, the red dice is a five. We got nine. So 
Actually, this is looking pretty good because this is we're on our ninth row right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's another day I should have never done. I should have counted that, but that's okay. Hard ways, we're on a ninth row. He flipped on me. So we're gonna go blue on left, red on the right. I'll be surprised, I'll be shocked this comes out to be an excellent throw. Maybe because I'm going back to the basics, who knows? No one knows, right? The thing is, you gotta repeat. It's a constant repeating of the same thing. You know, if you could get like, um, what's his name, ball throws. If you get an SOR, you know, well-established SOR, you know when to take your bets now, basically. So, which that's great. Then you can go do uh, some betting strategies that uh, either like call up or show you. He shows you the, the spread betting strategy. He don't guarantee nothing. He just shows you what his outcome would be. And basically, it's kind of good because he's a random throw. He's not, he don't set the dice. So, you can see what the outcome is a random. And then you got your other, you know, YouTubers. You got Craps99, I mean, 99 Craps player. Pretty cool guy. Like his videos too, so you watch his. Um, let's see. Then that guy, <laughs> what's his name? Okay, Google, wrote two dice. I, I like his videos too. Oh, that hit right on the bottom on the corner. That is a five. So we got blue is a two, right? And the red is a three. We like to call that Jordan. Yeah, so I, I watch these guys' videos, you know. I like the strategies, you know. Some make them really fun, worth watching, I'll tell you that. And I find it entertaining. 45, 45. All right, back to this three finger grip. It's another thing is you gotta get used to that grip right away. So this way you don't take forever at the casino, you know. Cause now, besides the dealer slowing your game, right, and all the baddies and all that, you're slowing your game now. I know you're trying to get that perfect grip, but that's another thing we need to practice is getting our grip perfect. So blue three, Red five, that's eight. So far, this ain't a bad row. This is the type of row I would be happy right there. You know? All right, take my bets out, you know? I don't know what I would have hit because I'm not keeping track. I would bet all inside numbers, especially on the file. I like a file out table. File out table for me is the, where to play because... You can bet as much as you want. It doesn't matter. People are like, oh, no, play on the 10. No, 10. You can play 10 bucks on a $5 table. You know what I mean? But if you don't feel like putting all that money out, you can put 22 on the inside, $5 on the pass line. You don't want to give them this money? You can put 5 and 5. 5 on the don't, 5 in the pass line. You know? So that's what you could do. That's why I like $5 tables. I want to bet high, I bet high. If I want to bet minimum, I bet minimum and I can play. $100, you could go five rows, basically. You know, all these other tables, right? $10, oh, I can't stand $15 tables. I really hate those. Those, those are awful. I went to MGM, that's the day I, I lost. On and off that night after playing Super Monster, but I played for like three hours. So, but you know what I should have done was I should have put 15 and 15 here and never gave them that money at all. You know, never gave them the 15 and 15 because you don't lose that unless you roll a, a, a box card on your come out row, which you could just throw a dollar ch chip there and that'll cover. It. And if you do hit it, you get $30 to your one. And then, then the inside, you got to bet 18 and 18, right? And then 15 and 15. That's $66. If I'm wrong, correct me, guys. But that, that's 66 inside. You know what I'm saying? Right there, 66, another 15 down here. 
You understand? You go to $100, it ain't much. Files and tables are the best. That's all I got to say. Because, like I said, you can bet. If you want to bet that 66, well, there you go. You bet your 66 on a $5 table, no problem. You're not forced into it, is what I mean. So I'm GM. If you happen to be watching my video, you need to get $5 tables. And they don't got to be all night. I know you guys can have like a, a limelight or whatever, you know, happy hour, certain time, early in the morning. I don't care. You do need $5 tables. All right, six, seven, eight. We got an eight. The reds off axis. All right, with blue is two, and red is six. We ain't doing so bad here, you know. I'm sorry to make this video so long. Hope you uh, I hope you you enjoying the video and maybe learning something out of it. I guess uh, I don't claim to be a teacher in this department so that's one thing I don't uh, don't do would I like to be really really good yes yes of course everybody does that's why we watch these videos right what we got there that's a six so we got two blue four red two blue four red Another thing I notice is, I'm sticking back to the basics though, right? I tend to get nervous when I play like on a $10 table and I start betting high. You know, and then I notice I get nervous. I'm like, wait a minute, what am I doing? Why am I getting nervous? I got this. And when I go to a $5 table, it's like, I don't care. It's only $22, you know? That's not bad. It doesn't hurt as much, I guess. And I, I noticed that I do my best in making money is actually on a $5 table for some reason. I don't know why. But I guess so because I know that I can always go back down to $5 when I want. What I love, six, that's going to be two blue, four red. One thing I do like about a casino down in uh, Connecticut. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to say Mohegan. Mohegan Suns down in Connecticut. I like the fact that you get there early, you're on a file table, and you get grandfathered in. You stay at five bucks as long as you stay at that table. So I, I like that. You get grandfathered in, you can still bet five dollar tables. While everybody else, once it changes, it becomes a $10 table. As long as you were there playing, while it was a file table, you get grandfathered in. Not too many casinos do that anymore. Actually, I haven't been to MGM, in, I mean, Mohegan in a while, so I, I really don't know. So here we go. We're going to roll this, and I'm going to open the door for my dog so she can go out. Oh, yeah. What we got? We got Snake Eyes again. That blue loves that one. See, I noticed there, that blue is constantly wrong, but it's rolling off axis. There you go, girl. Go. Sliding door. Ooh, it's raining outside. Actually, it's downpour. So we got a 1-1 one, one right here. I think, what, yesterday or today? One of these days was the first day of spring. I still haven't rolled the four. No, I still haven't rolled the four. But we're not doing so bad. Actually, this roll is uh, more than I expected. But this ain't to see how many I can roll. This is to see what the outcome of my roll is. Going back to the basics so I can look at that. So we got this right here. I, I opened my hand up there. I, you see? There you go. I felt that mistake. You could tell. I, I I went like this. I went like that on that. Oh, wait a minute. I went like that on that row. You know, instead of just like a. And we got ourselves a two on the red and a five 
on the blue. Select seven out, people. So let's see what we got here, you know? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Actually, that wasn't bad. It was a sixteen row. The numbers to the left is the blue, right? The numbers to the right is red. Then I started all over here and went back down. So you're gonna pause the video and uh, do a little research yourself. You can see what the outcome is. So YouTube, I wanna thank you for watching. Um, I'm probably just gonna put one video out a week for now till I get my mojo back, I should say. And um, I'm definitely gonna put some more videos with uh, Eric, my daughter, and some friends out too. Uh, but today's uh, uh, video for the week, I guess, is Back to the Basics. And uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe it or hit the like button. That's what it's there for. Or if you don't like it, thumbs down. Hey, you know what? That's what they're there for too. You guys take care and God bless. Mr. Coffee Drinker is out.